What's hilarious is I've been working on this for the last three and a half, almost four years. Yeah, what's funny about that is I have known that I have wanted to start a YouTube channel for so long, but I just didn't know what that looked like. I have always known what I wanted to talk about, but I think that I needed to go through some certain seasons of life to gain some wisdom and understanding on what it is that I'm going to be presenting to be able to do that. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kaylee. I'm a certified health coach and I also do life coaching. I'm kind of transitioning into that. And I've been health coaching for the last three and a half, almost four years, but before that, I worked in the social and emotional development of young people using creative drama, play-based learning, and theater. My experience with wellness goes a lot deeper than just my health coaching these last several years, and I personally had this really crazy intense healing journey that I will share later on. Moving into the topic, I started healing a long time ago, but one of the things that sparked my healing journey, and when I say healing, I mean getting down into the dirty of what's wrong with me and really identifying and learning the obstacles that I'm having in my mind, in my heart, in my soul for being able to live a life that produces fruit instead of a life that is driven by self-destruction. One of the instigating mindsets thoughts, revelations in my life that spurred this journey on is that I realized if I did not focus on healing, I would never be able to live the life I wanted to live. And I have always been a very career-oriented person. I realized because of my severe state of holistic health, I was not going to be able to pursue these ambitions and goals because I couldn't even ground zero, take care of myself and function. So the topic for this video is the interconnectedness of your healing and your productivity. So the first thing that I need to address as we get going into like, what are the three key points that I have about this is productivity is not what you produce. It is the energy and effort that you're giving toward what you want. I kind of think about it like gardening. You don't call a gardener productive only when they've harvested their tomatoes. They're productive the entire time. I'm not telling you you need to be producing results. I'm telling you that there is an importance for having focus towards something that's not just your healing while you're healing. Let me explain to you how uh, healing and productivity or wellness and career are interconnected, how they work together. So your wellness comes first. Your healing comes first. It has to be the foundation of what's going on in your life. You cannot produce things out of a lack of goodness, a lack of healing, a lack of joy, a lack, a lacking, right? So your health comes first. So once our health starts to climb and starts to improve and starts to feel some fire for the first time in a long time, or maybe the first time at all, that's where productivity starts. Because what so many of us know is that when we start to feel better, our interests start to reveal themselves again in our lives. So taking what this good healing is doing and diving into those interests is part of the key here. Because once the momentum of healing picks up, the momentum of productivity picks up within the scope of what you're interested in. Once these two things start to work together, they intertwine and they hold hands. <laughs> in my life, I wanted a career, I wanted productivity, but my health stopped me. So I had to set down the career, set down the productivity, and focus on the healing. Us having a goal, a desire, a want, and our health directly getting in the way of being able to achieve that can really motivate us for getting some action toward our health going. I have had so many clients that I've worked with who have come to me and have said, this is what I was working toward, this is what I've been doing, this is what I want, but my mindset, my health, my habits, my approach, these things are not in a healthy place. Our lack of health actually gets in the way of what we want, and that is a huge motivator for getting our health under control. I think this is evidence for the interconnected interconnectivity of the two. How many times am I gonna say interconnectivity in this video? <laughs> when productivity and focus on healing come together, this is where imposter syndrome goes to die. <laughs> we all struggle with imposter syndrome so much, and what's really funny is if you think about the, like the neuroscience of how our thoughts are working, imposter syndrome is us experiencing stepping out of our pattern and our brain being suspicious of it. Our brain is saying, wait a minute, 
we have been thinking inside of this box for so long and now you're stepping outside of the box and you're trying to do something that you don't normally do. That's not you. You can't do that. Who are you to do that? This is our pattern. This is our way. That's such a hard thing to face when you're only focusing on healing or you're only focusing on productivity. But when your focus is on both, you're more empowered with more tools to be able to recognize, okay, this is a thought pattern. This is like literally an old neural pathway that's been instilled in me for two, three decades that I am contradicting with this new train of thought and my brain doesn't know what to think about it. So that's the healing mindset of it. That's the perspective that we can take into the productivity. So now that I understand that about the healing, I'm gonna start the productive task. And once we start to actually physically do the thing that our brain is telling us we can't do, we're an imposter, that's not really us, our brain sits back and goes, oh snap, she's doing it. She's actually doing it. Maybe we, maybe we can do this. Maybe this, this is real. And that imposter syndrome feeling, the alarms going off in our system, they just quietly fade away and we get into the flow of our productivity. And then we feel so accomplished because we've done something productive, we've done something good, and it pours back into that healing cup because it reinforces what we have learned, what we have applied, and now we're producing. Now we're actually moving toward what we want. Isn't that, that's like just so incredible. My final main point on the importance of understanding how connected healing and productivity are is something I've identified among so many people. Many of us have a desire to be useful and impactful. You cannot be useful and impactful without productivity. And I think what's really, really important about these two words, useful and impactful, is to take them and ground them down into the truth that that can only apply to people. And I think that we are in a state of really resisting people right now in a lot of places. And I can understand why that is, because even though it's people that we love, it's also people who hurt us, and people, 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 people. Everything is about people, and that can be yeah, stressful. But being impactful and being useful has to do with people. So when people are painting, that might seem like something that's just for themselves, and it totally can be, but, when you paint and you experience tranquility and you experience these positive reinforcements towards yourself that you are the artist you keep trying to tell you yourself that you are, you approach your life differently and you're more kind to people outside. This is where your impact is happening. Because the truth is, is that we're going to impact people no matter what. So your impact can either be from a place of health or a place of a lack of health. We can't imp impact people and be useful to an indefinite amount to a point where we drain ourselves and then we burn out, we crash, we become bitter, become bitter and resentful. We have to fill the health cup. <laughs> and then we can't continuously fill this health cup and not have productive, useful impact, positive impact toward people because healing spreads to others. It just naturally does. We can't do that without the balance of health and productivity. This natural desire that I see in people to want to be useful and have positive impact and wanting to set their own mindset right and get healthy just shows the beautiful interconnectivity of healing and productivity. I'm gonna end this video here. I am so grateful that you have listened. I will be posting a new video every Sunday talking about the ins and outs of healing, holistic health, career, productivity, and um, also talking about things I've learned from being an online health coach in the last four years. Also, side note, I also have left the USA. I live abroad, so that will come into my videos as well. I'm so excited to start this journey. I'm so excited to be on YouTube and make long form content. If you follow me on TikTok. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> I do enjoy making TikToks and I enjoy the short form content, but you see, I like to talk about the things I know and I like to educate and I like to teach. I'm very passionate about it. TikTok is a very difficult platform to do that. It's great for entertaining and fun, but it's just 30 seconds and boom. So I'm so excited to get on a more uh, long form content platform and to deliver to you what I have learned in almost the last decade of healing so many mental health problems, so much emotional imbalance, and also taking care of my physical body through the journey of life. So thanks for sticking in with me. Go ahead and hit like on the video if you want to, and subscribe 
because I've got a lot more coming and I'm really excited to present it to you. And I really intensely intend to be very consistent. <sighs> that is a exciting place that I am in that I can confidently say I will show up consistently. So thanks so much. Goodbye. Have a fantastic day.